People come to South Jersey and the Jersey Shore because of the natural beauty that is offered by our state parks and beaches. But did you know that something as simple as a rain shower can cause pollution? When rainwater flows over the streets and surfaces, it picks up pollutants along the way. These pollutants then go into storm drains and make their way to waterways. The pollutants can be harmful to the environment, wildlife, and even our health. Let's take a look at the top six pollutants found in stormwater. The top six stormwater pollutants are trash, sediment, chemicals, oil and grease, nutrients, and bacteria. Trash and debris. When it rains, litter, plastic bags, cigarette butts, and other debris on the streets get washed into storm drains, eventually making their way into water bodies. This trash can harm wildlife and degrade the aesthetic value of our natural spaces. Household waste. Everyday household items such as cleaners, solvents, thinners, and paints can contaminate surface and groundwater if not used, stored, and disposed of properly. This can harm fish and wildlife as well as endanger human health. Oil and grease. Leaks from vehicles, machinery, and improper disposal of used motor oil can contribute to oil and grease pollution and stormwater runoff. These substances create a sheen on water surfaces, block sunlight from reaching aquatic plants, and can be toxic to fish and other organisms. Pesticides, herbicides, fertilizers, and other chemicals applied to lawns and gardens can be carried away by stormwater runoff. Industrial areas can release heavy metals such as lead, zinc, and mercury, which are toxic to aquatic organisms and can accumulate in the food chain. Also, when these nutrients reach water bodies, they can cause algae blooms, depleting oxygen levels and leading to fish kills and the disruption of the aquatic ecosystems. Yard waste and sediment. Yard waste decays in the water using up oxygen and releasing pollutants that can kill plants and other organisms. They can cause flooding and lead to more stormwater maintenance costs. Sediment is the scientific term for mud, dirt, and soil. Soil erosion from construction sites, unprotected bare land, or poorly maintained roads can result in excessive sediment entering storm drains. Sedimentation can cloud waterways, impacting aquatic life by reducing sunlight penetration and smothering habitats. Bacteria and pathogens. Stormwater runoff can carry harmful bacteria and pathogens from animal waste, sewage leaks, or failing septic systems. These contaminants can pose risk to human health when recreational waters become contaminated and can cause waterborne illnesses. I would like to add another item to our long list of items that can pollute our stormwater and ultimately end up in our waterways. That item is construction debris. Some contractors do not take care when creating debris and their litter on their work site. What makes matters worse is that instead of cleaning up their sites, they blow these things into the streets and then these items get washed into our storm drains. A particular concern are microplastics. Microplastics can last hundreds to thousands of years. They are easily ingested by marine life and end up in our food chain contaminating all of us. Preventing the release of all these pollutants into stormwater is essential to protect our environment and safeguard our water resources. By being mindful of our actions and adopting responsible practices and also educating others, 
we can make a significant difference in preserving the health and beauty of our ecosystems. Keeping pollutants out of the streets and stormwater makes a difference. If you want to preserve the beauty of your neighborhood and community, share this message and do your part to not to pollute our stormwater.